the Grade 2 race now in Grade 1 company. Yep, uh, here they go then. The flag is raised, he's in. You've got 17 to jump on the two and a half miles on the way round in this Virgin Bet Ciliar's Novices Chase and Pick Dory just in front in the early strides is off to the left in the blue and pink Long Presse, the green and white jacket in the centre. Off to the right there. Now maroon colours this afternoon for Mr. Coffee was over it in third place. Here's number two. Behind those is Gladiator Allen, the orange colours, two lengths behind. He runs in fourth place. And Fugitive, Violet Jacket and a white cap is the back mark of the quintet who are now uh, safely over the first three of these 17 swing right-handed on their way back towards home in the early strides. So pick Dory. A blue and pink jacket for Harry Cobden has the advantage. He's by far the highest earner in this lineup. In fact, he's won more than twice the earnings of the other four combined. He's pressed by this afternoon's favourite, Long Presse. Green and white colours won all three of his steeplechases so far. The only one yet to win a steeplechase is on the right there, Mr. Coffee, Nico de Boinville in the maroon jacket. Then comes Gladiator. Allen, orange colours for Chester Williams, who runs just about in fourth place as they jump number four, the pond fence, and close up behind him is Nick Schofield on Fugitive, who continues to be the back marker in the violet and white colours. So into the straight, this time down the straight will be a plain fence and an open ditch. On the left, Pick Dory continues to have a very narrow advantage, although uh, Long Press is going to go past him as they come to their first open ditch, six and ten on the way round will both be open ditches. Uh, then Mr. Coffey is behind him on the right. Oh, absolutely demolished that open ditch. Mr. Coffey, they didn't seem to stop him. Good job they won't be jumping it next time round. Uh, but he just drops uh, momentarily now to be the back marker of the uh, Quintet. They pass the winning post, one circuit remaining, and this time round there's only about three lengths between the five. Continues to be Pick Dory against the rail with Long Presse, white sleeve jacket alongside him. Uh, Mr. Coffey, a uh, length further back to uh, drop back to fifth position after the mistake at the ditch, but is now back in third. Gladiator Allen, the orange colours, is with him between those, but probably about a length behind him is Fugitive with the white cap, just the back mark of the quintet. So down to the far side of the course they go. Plain fence downhill number seven coming up, and Pick Dory moves on towards it from Long Presse. And into third position now is Gladiator Allen in the orange colours. Mr. Coffey wide of those. Take it in fourth place. And uh, out of the race there is Gladiator Allen. Number two has unseated Chester Williams at the uh, plain fence down the side of the course. They run into the back straight, then pick Dory and Long Presse still together. Three lengths behind those. Here's Mr. Coffey in third place. Fugitive Allen is about four lengths behind him now in fourth position. Chester Williams is safely up on his feet. They come to the second fence down the far side. Pick Dory and Long Presse just landed in front there. Here's the second of the open ditches coming up behind those. Here's Mr. Coffey about four or five lengths behind. Took it in third position. Fugitive is in fourth. So now they're nearing the completion of a circuit. The water jump, they only take it once. It's number 11. And coming on towards it, Pick Dory in the hoops. Long press here in the green and white. They continue to be together, this pair. They are now about seven, eight lengths ahead to Mr. Coffey, who's in third position and Fugitive in fourth. Six fences to go from here. Pick Dory and Long press here at the first of the railways. A uh, little to choose between them there. Mr. Coffey on the right behind him in third place, then Fugitive. The second railway, Long press here going on. Pick Dory didn't jump it too well in second position. This is four from the finish. Long Presse now a good lead. Four, five lengths ahead. The last couple just getting over it. Mr. Coffey just in third and Fugitive in fourth place. Still a long way from home here. And Long Presse will come round the home turn to the third last fence uh, with about a three length advantage. The Loose horse, Gladiator Allen is right next to him at the moment. Pick Dory is two, three lengths behind in third place. Still going okay though as they move down to the third last. Fugitive has taken third position and uh, then Mr. Coffey behind him. Three fences to jump. Long Presse uh, with Pick Dory only a length and a half behind him in second position. Uh, Fugitive makes an error. Mr. Coffey has regained third position into the home straight. Two fences to go from here. And it is uh, Long Presse and Charlie Deutsch coming down towards the second last. Got over it. They're clear. 
Six, seven lengths ahead now. Pictorian second, Mr. Coffee in third, Fugitive in fourth. One fence to jump then. Long press, say this afternoon's favourite, heads down towards the 17th and final fence. Got over it safely. Going to remain unbeaten over fences. Second position, Pictori, but only just Mr. Coffee might get the forecast position from him. But Long press, say, has coasted home here. Very impressive success. He's won the Virgin Bet Ciliar's Novices Chase, four from four. Mr. Coffee has taken second position late on. Pictori in third and a Fugitive will be in fourth. A punch of the air for his first ever Grade 1 success, Charlie Deutsch. Long Pressey has won in a hack canter. The Virgin Bet City has novice chase from in second place. Pick Dory for Paul Nicholson, Harry Cobden, Phoenicia Williams and Charlie Deutsch.